top 10 horror movies on Netflix. Are you missing the adrenaline rush you get from riding a roller coaster? How about a story that makes you think about something you've never even imagined before? If you want your senses to tingle from the comfort of your own home, you might be looking for a great horror film. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 horror movies to watch on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10, Raw. After viewing this film, you might just have a new favorite female director in Julia Ducarneau. The film's protagonist, naive, incoming college student Justine, Garance Marillier, comes of age over the course of its running time. She parties, she breaks out of her shell, and she learns about who she really is as a person on the verge of adulthood. But most kids who come of age in the movies don't realize that they've spent their lives unwittingly suppressing an innate, high insatiable need to consume raw meat. Raw follows Justine, a vegetarian in her first year of veterinary school, who caves to peer pressure, eats raw meat, and winds up with a rash all over her body. The film tackles questions of identity in a viscerally powerful and symbolic way, and is a must-see from Netflix's indie bench. Raw is an open consensus to the harrowing quality of Justine's grim blossoming. Nasty as the film gets, and it does indeed get nasty, the harshest sensations Ducarnar articulates here tend to be the ones we can't detect by merely looking fear of feminine sexuality, family legacies, popularity politics, and uncertainty of self govern Raw's horrors as much as exposed and bloody flesh. It's a gore fest that offers no apologies and plenty more to chew on than its effects. Number 9. The Platform From Netflix's impressive stash of international films comes Spanish sci-fi horror The Platform. Its high-concept story centers on a tower that delivers food to people on each of its many levels via a platform. Those at the top score the best and most abundant spread, which is devoured as the platform lowers down the levels. Social commentary rings throughout the dystopian thriller, which takes shocking, occasionally gruesome turns all the way to the bottom. The platform benefits immensely from the strength of its simple, high-concept premise and all the superfluous information that is withheld from the viewer. Number 8. The Nightingale A warning, The Nightingale depicts extreme graphic scenes of violence and rape. With that in mind, proceed with this harrowing story, and you'll see an important slice of history rarely told on screen. The Nightingale follows a young female convict, seeking revenge in the 1825 Australian bush. The second film from Jennifer Kent, who directed The Mighty the Babadook, is a force to be reckoned with. Number 7. Gerald's Game Before the impeccable The Haunting of Hill House series, Mike Flanagan brought us this deft adaptation of Stephen King's novel Gerald's Game. Carla Gugino is immense as Jessie, a woman who goes on holiday with their husband at an isolated lake house in Alabama. When Jessie ends up handcuffed to the bed with no one to help her escape, it becomes a matter of both survival and escape, another chapter of Flanagan's melancholy suffused horror that surges into quiet triumph for its haunted characters. This brand new adaptation of a near-forgotten 1992 Stephen King novel offers a cracking setup. To salvage their ailing marriage, a couple head to the remote holiday home and decide to try some kinky stuff, only for things to go swiftly south when hubby keels over from a heart attack, leaving his wife cuffed to the bed frame. Cue an hour and a half of relentless psychological chills and spills as she attempts to free herself before dying of thirst, dog, possible giant bald demon man lurking in the shadows, all the while assailed by the worst terror of all, the recollection of horrific childhood trauma. Number 6. The Call Two movies named The Call came out in 2020. Watch the South Korean one, a time travel thriller revolving around, yep, a phone call. 20-year-old Xiao Yun finds a phone buried in a closet in her childhood home. It rings, and the caller, it turns out, is living in the same house 20 years earlier. Twists right up to the final moment, plus a wild cat and mouse chase that alters the past and present makes this a must-watch. Number 5. Under the Shadow after her husband is sent away to serve in the army, an Iranian mother is left to care for their young daughter under the looming threat of missile strikes. When their apartment is hit, events take a turn for the paranormal and leave the pair haunted by a mysterious jinn spirit. Though some classic horror tropes soon follow, under the shadow's unusual setting and creaking, groaning buildings give it an extra bite. Like a few other titles on this list, this superb psychological horror subtly doubles as an allegory for wider social themes, such as oppression. Set in 1980s Tehran, during a series of air raids known as the War of the Cities, it follows a mother and daughter haunted in their home by a mysterious evil. With echoes of the Babadook, as well as its own fresh ideas, Under the Shadow is an excellent horror entry. Number 4. 1922 
one of the more successful Stephen King adaptations. This horror drama, based on the novella 1922, is a slow burn with a mesmerizing performance at its core. Thomas Jane, who you all know from Boogie Nights and 2004's The Punisher, gives one of his career best performances as the ever-proud Wilford James, a farmer who makes the total wise decision to murder his wife with the help of his teenage son. The consequences are harrowing on multiple levels. Stephen King adaptations have their hits and their misses, but this is a straightforward story that gets by on a dread steep plot and some compelling performances by good character actors you'll most likely always be happy to see get some screen time. Number 3. Cam this smart psychological horror is partially drawn from co-writer Issa Mazzelli's experience as a cam girl or webcam model. Yet Cam is not a documentary. Following Alice Ackerman, a young cam girl who one day discovers an exact replica of herself has taken over her show. This unique thriller flashing red with the threat of technology is an excellent feature to hit play on. Is there ever a doppelganger that's nice and helpful? Not in horror movies, that's for sure. In 2018's Cam, Alice, Madeline Brewer, is an erotic webcam performer. After a particularly successful stream where she enacts a suicide, she finds out her account has been hacked by someone who looks exactly like her. It's a disturbing story about identity and privacy, and it's a Netflix original. Number 2. Caliber This taut thriller set in the remote Scottish Highlands is far from the idyllic getaway. Prepare for a full-on, nerve-wearing nightmare that its protagonists are desperate to wake up from. Vaughn and Marcus set out on a lad's weekend hunting trip, but after a night of drinking, they find themselves facing events they never could have planned for. Caliber lives up to its name, delivering a slick package of grim, gripping drama. Let the full force of this one wallop you. Picture the scene. You're having a great time with an old friend, and then all of a sudden, you're struck by that sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach, when the absolute worst thing imaginable happens. The moodscape of Caliber preys on that very sensation for its entire runtime venturing down some decidedly murky ethical holes to tell the tale of two lifelong friends who journey to the Scottish Highlands for a hunting weekend. While Vaughn and Marcus's getaway is a boozy fun time at the start, the real thrills kick in when they hit the outdoors to bag themselves a deer. Number 1. Berlin Syndrome Before Black Widow, Kate Shortland made her name directing excellent indie films, including Berlin Syndrome. This psychological horror stars Teresa Palmer as Claire Havel, a young Australian who goes backpacking in Berlin, only to meet a man who holds her captive in his apartment. A cat and mouse game between captor and captive ensues. While it's slower paced at times in its confined setting, Berlin Syndrome assuredly delivers a gripping thriller. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.